Bet perfect. There we go. All right, there you go. Honestly, no lie, I'm just here to laugh at you lot. Like, <laughs> as you know, as a Tottenham fan, you sing about us every game. You're obsessed with us. We all know that. We all know the Willie Ann chant, and you were singing it all game. We know. You're celebrating this win against a mid-table team. Yeah, they might be your second rivals, but we're your first rivals. I'm genuinely just here to laugh at you lot. We're nine, nine points clear of you. Oh, sorry, 11 points clear of you. I'm just here to laugh at you, genuinely. That's it. That's that's it's good. That's good because like you only just beat Sheffield United two one, and you were celebrating like you won the Champions. It was three. So don't come. Three, up. It was two one. Two one. Three two two. two, two yeah, yeah, cool. It's two one. And you know what? Uh, unlike you, we're not going to put every single game on a DVD collection or a memorative plate. Like you did this guy. Like history. I hear yeah. that. I hear yeah. that. You're not putting yeah. any games this season on there, bro. And, and also, and also, you and also, have, you have more silver polish than actually silverware, <laughs> so it's all good. Do you know, you know what it is as well. Any any fan who's actually won a trophy doesn't celebrate winning the trophy after seven games. So I don't know what yeah. you're laughing at because you haven't actually won anything. I'm not laugh. celebrating a trophy, bro. I'm just celebrating. I'm just celebrating well, now. What are you bro, celebrating? You know what I mean, that's what I want to know. Like, what are you celebrating? I'm celebrating the fact that you lot are getting battered most weeks, and now you're getting gassed over two wins against. We two don't get that. We can see less goals in. We can see if it's battered, if it's battered every week, that's just your history as a football. Bro, club. listen. If Burnley weren't there, you'd be relegated. If Burnley weren't there, Luton weren't there, you'd be relegated. You'd be in the relegation zone right now. And that's just true. Let's be honest. Are Apart you saying if you remove teams from the league and don't replace them? With no, no, I'm just saying. You lot are lucky that you're not where you could be. And this is what someone was saying the other week. You could be you could be so much worse than you are. And you two are gassed. You're so gassed. And yeah. I'm I'm genuinely not here on any hate thing or something like that. I'm just here to laugh. I'm just here to laugh. Honestly, I'm oh, just funny, funny. that's all I'm here for. No, nobody yeah. should laugh at it's, it's yeah. the fact you're laughing at nothing. I don't even know why you're laughing. If, 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 laugh. if I remove one of my legs, I've lost 50 pounds overall in weight. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter. It's like that. You know what? Spurs, I heard that last weekend, a similar thing. You know what's so crazy? Yeah. If Spurs didn't win, they wouldn't have got three points. I just caught yeah. it. <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just here to laugh. That's all I, I'm I, here I, for. I'll get you laughing at Chelsea. How confident are you that Spurs finish significantly ahead of them this season? And if they don't, after you laughing at them now, how embarrassing? We, how embarrassed would you feel as a Tottenham fan that your club's let a team that you think is relegation candidate finish ahead of you? Honestly, if Chelsea finish ahead of ahead of us, that'll be incredibly embarrassing, of course. But I'm going to promise you, Terry. Oh, it just be. I am, I am too confident. I, I genuinely think we're going to finish second this league this year. So I you're genuinely not going to win anything then. Guys, no, no, no. At least second. At least second. At least second. Why, 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 okay, you think you'll finish in front of Liverpool and Arsenal? Why, bro? Yeah, like, explain that. Explain 100%. that. 100%. Honestly, we've got Arsenal at home again. That's another three points against them to take them down a little bit. We've we've shown Liverpool once once what you think. They're crying on Twitter. They're crying on their little fo- football announcements, bro. We'll do them again. All right? So we'll do Liverpool. We'll do Arsenal again. We're doing our, we're doing Liverpool on a real comeback sort of thing just to show them that do you know what I mean? They always beat us normally. They're just crying about this whole decision making. If they wanna look, if they wanna replay this game against us, let's replay the Champions League final. That's what everyone's talked about. Every and you know, Terry, you've seen Twitter. Everyone's talking about it, right? I'm gonna be real with you lot. Of course, of course, City are gonna win the league again. That's just how it is. We're finishing second. Arsenal below us. I don't know about Newcastle. I don't watch Newcastle, to be honest with you. But I'm going to be real. I've never... The, the only team I hate more than... Our, uh, a little bit less than Arsenal, sorry, are Chelsea. And I know you lot sing about us every game. Even though yeah. Fulham are your actual local rivals, you still sing about us every game. Even yeah. when you're against Fulham, you don't even have a chant against them, do you? Well, no, the fact this triggered and we're 11th. I'm oh. not triggered, bro. I'm just imagine spitting facts. Won, imagine we're top of the league. I'm just spitting, I love, I love, I'm Harry, just spitting Harry, facts, bro. You, you turned around and said, I'm not here on a hate thing, but twice in your speech you said how much you hate Chelsea. Um, I just, Maybe I, I am. Was, Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little boys, bit. I said to you, sometimes you haven't got to interject on everything they, that they say. Just let people talk. Oh, no, it was, it was and they end, up, they end up undoing themselves a little bit. Um, Maybe a little bit. There's some super chats here I want to go to. First one says uh, Mudrik uh, got his first goal in 234 minutes and didn't even have to beg his teammates for a charity <laughs> penalty donation. What a Chad. 
Uh, D also says a similar thing here. It says uh, Mudrik did not need a penalty to score. Good game. Yeah, a very good game today. Uh, there's nothing about there's not there is something about this Chelsea team. I think if they manage to get a dominant striker like like a Drogba Costa, they could cause a lot of trouble. Is what George the Gooner says. You know what's funny, Terry? Fulham beat Spurs. You know, um, they could. I mean, they could. They could be. Oh no, they didn't delete the cup, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did. You got knocked out of these, by these guys in a cup competition, yeah, and yeah, it, I yeah. forgot. And then you're laughing at Chelsea for beating them, Harry. Harry, I, I weren't there. What that are you one. doing, Harry? I weren't there. That one. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Well, you actually went out of a trophy. Forgot about that. Uh, Terry, you know you're a big team when rivals take time out of their day to laugh at you winning a game. Uh, also, if you don't have Kane, uh, you'll be relegated too, uh, is what Blaze says here. Uh, Spurs laughing at Chelsea is like a peasant laughing at a king. That's true. <laughs> it's not wrong. Um, bro said this isn't a hate thing and then hates on us. I like that. <laughs> uh, trolling uh, Chelsea during our worst two-year period is like... Uh, claiming uh, to be the tallest midget, triggered over 11th. Uh, Chelsea, enjoy your free short bus parade. Um, uh, war a trophy, war a trophy, war a trophy for Spurs is what Dyke says here. Uh, well, do we'll do Arsenal again, <laughs> laughing my ass off, still celebrating your 2 2. I didn't even pick up on that. Yeah, you didn't I win. Yeah. Yeah, Terry, yeah. can I just say something quick? Can I just say something quick? Go on, go on, right. go on. Everyone normally, normally, last last couple of seasons, it's been a couple of teams who everyone's hated on. Have you seen? We've started to win games again. We've started to perform. And look at everyone collectively coming together to hate Tottenham. Okay. Do you want to know why? I didn't come on here to prove a point, but it's almost like I have. Everyone's do you want to know, know, know why it happens, though? Do you know why it, why it happens? You, you should you want you it guys, as well. You, you got, yeah, firstly, you should want to be hated. Yeah. Secondly... Of course. Secondly, the reason it happens is because what you, you you are doing is you've started the season impeccably well. Yes. I've heard Tottenham fans in the last like few weeks say things like this. Order has been restored. We're better than Arsenal again. We're better than Man United again. We're better than Chelsea. And people will ask a question and go, what order are you talking about the last five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years? In that time, we have all won... FA Cups, League Cups, European Cups, and you've won nothing. I think the problem is, is that there's, there's individual game ban that you can give. The problem that Spurs fans have when it comes to giving it to your rivals is that you don't have a trophy or any tangible success to show off with. It's just wins or finishing above somebody in a league in what is typically also an unsuccessful season yes. for you. And even, a good, and even a good season by your modern day standards we all consider a shit season and it's like you banter us for what, for having what we consider to be shit that's why you guys get hated on and i don't sometimes think you will realize it it's not that you've won games it's that you guys will finish fourth and laugh at us for coming fifth but i'd hate to just be finishing fourth but you're happy with it that's why it happens harry trust hey, me my you know dad's that? a spurs fan and me and my dad have a business partner he's also a spurs fan my dad's a bit like you they go way you come seven, <laughs> even though they're six, right? Where my dad's business part is a great guy. He's like, Jeff, we fucking talking about we're shit as well, and that's the difference, I think, Harry. That's why I think it happens, brother. That's you know why I, I think. Like, it you know what I like, Terry? I like the term "we're back." I always question <laughs> where, 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 back, back, back yeah. Back to where? And, and, and Harry, let me just say it again. Let me, let me, let me, let me caveat that with you guys have been phenomenal this season. Absolutely. I praise you guys loads. I think you deserve the praise. I said after beating Liverpool, you should be celebrating. There's yeah. no such thing as over celebrating. Go for it. But I've had Spurs fans in my DMs saying we're we're back to being bigger and better than United. My like, bruv, bruv, it's been our worst decade. In 40 years, and we still have four more trophies than you. Until you can beat that, I hear don't that. chat about my club. I hear that, and to be honest with you, I'm still celebrating. It's a Monday night, and I'm still celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> we won the game. What are you <laughs> celebrating? I hear you. David's uh, here with us. Uh, David, how's it going, mate? You all right, bro? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm pretty good. We actually won a game and scored two goals in it, which is a shock. Two in a week. <laughs> two in a week, Dave. <laughs> <coughs> two in a month. Um, yeah, no. For once, Conor Gallagher actually wasn't the worst player on the field, which I was a bit shocked at. Um, I hope he still doesn't play, but he's going to keep playing. So, <laughs> um, 
<laughs> you know, uh, what's it? Mudrick, it's a shame he came off injured because I've been saying it for a while now. I feel he's been like probably our best attacking player. And every time he actually gets on the ball, he actually does something. He runs yeah. over the defence. He creates like he creates two on ones or he drags over defenders. He has that not in the same way, but like again, when Hazard used to play on the ball, teams would have to adjust and bring players over towards him to compensate for it. And I'm not saying Mudrick is at that level yet. What I'm saying is it's clear to see that teams are starting to see when he's on the ball, Fulham were bringing two Give him attention. Give him a to, cover, to cover him off. And yeah. all, again, all it, it's coming to the stage where, once again, we have really good build-up play. Everything looks like all right. We just need to make better decisions in the final third. It's just that simple. Like We end up in a situation where we're at the byline and we cross it in, but there's no one running at the back post to, tap, to get a simple tap in. It's, it's that simple. Yeah, we've got the wrong player running and passing it when yeah, he should exactly. be in the box doing it. Yeah, yeah. We just, right. again, it, it, we're not that far away, but we're still quite far. Like, we're far away from where we want to be, but we're yeah, not exactly. that far away from being like a competent team, which is what we've been lacking for the past 39 games. But David, so, you know what helped that though? Like, the back post one, it's just a consistent team. If you have a consistent 11, we know each other play, that helps, isn't it? Like, like everyone but it's, like, it's, it's a system thing. I still think the system needs a bit of tweaking I think like oh regardless whether it's Mudrick or it's Madweke <laughs> or it's I know De- David Washington it should be someone's got to be at that back post in case the ball spills through mm. that should just be a thing that's always like yeah. a thing and we just need more and I think we just need more people in the box honestly and that's one thing that always annoys me since that we've like for the past like five or six years as a Chelsea fan we just I feel like we don't have enough people in the box to actually create enough chances and again today was a good game but to me Fulham after watching like most of the teams over the past couple of games, I just don't think they're very good. And they concede loads of chances on goals. So it was no shock that we scored goals. Whether we actually improved, you know, after the Burnley game, we've got a really tough run of fixtures. So we'll know whether yeah. we improved. Yeah. Or... And I think, yeah. And I think that's why you say celebrate the wins, be happy. You can see the confidence coming. But one of the things I said right at the start is there's a long way to go still um because i think your biggest issue is confidence more than it is you know there's more pressure on you than there are other teams with new managers there's more pressure on chelsea than you probably only find only liverpool man united and arsenal probably have the the same if not slightly more pressure when they play games due to media coverage fan base size and everything else and it's just going to take a little bit of time if you put in the comments as i speak on um sanchez in goal today what what did you make some some people praising him i look at i thought he made some good saves although he nearly cost you guys with that passing out from the back. So yeah. it was one of the ones where I was like, I've not really mentioned him because he had some great saves. But yeah, a lot of people in the audience are asking for your opinion on Sanchez in goal. I think I think he's I think he's a lot better than Kepa, personally. That's the first thing. <laughs> um, he makes good saves. He's a big presence in the box, and he actually catches corners, which is quite nice. Um, but he takes, he not, just takes risks, doesn't he? Dome? He just takes. Yeah, he's, he's not the, again. He's not the end game goalkeeper, but you know. For what he's been bought in for as a stop. Hey, man. he'll be our Ramsdale when we buy something, and then we'll buy someone else. And yeah, but when we, when we <laughs> buy our number one goalkeeper, we won't be yeah. saying they're going. They're going to share minutes. They're going to be. They're going to play him in the Champions League and rest the other guy. That's what we're going to yeah. do like that. 